Hello my data science friends hope you are having a wonderful day i am divyan chakrawal and you are watching knowledge overflow today we will be talking about another data science course that is coming your way from the university of windsor situated in canada so in this video we will be talking about the admission requirements the profile the course curriculum overview fees scholarships everything so stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this particular course and if you do like the video please subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends as much as possible who are looking out for data science courses around the world without any further delay let's start with this video so first of all we will be talking about the university profile so this university uh, is situated in windsor in canada windsor is a very nice city situated on the border of canada and the united states they have got a world rank in the rank band of 701 to 750 status is public Research output is high. Student to faculty ratio is bit off, forty one. But yet again, you know, if you want to study in Canada, this is something you can definitely target for. There are a lot of scholarships as well here, and international students are already close to twenty five hundred. And uh, if you talk about this course, this is an MSc program, MSc in Computer Science program. So how it is related to data science is you will be having an opportunity. to uh, pursue this ms in cs with artificial intelligence stream as well so people who are looking out for just the normal regular msc computer science program they can also go with that but if you are looking out for a specialization you will have to go for artificial intelligence stream the application process won't be much different first of all you will need to apply to msc computer science program and this is the landing page basically so it is a thesis based masters program first of all i need to tell you so this is not a project based course you will need to write a thesis you can also uh, incorporate artificial intelligence stream as well so there are only two options the normal regular computer science or the computer science with artificial intelligence so in masters of computer science artificial intelligence stream what you will have to do is to you will have to write a thesis based on a particular topic in artificial intelligence and uh, also one more important thing in this course is you are also eligible for the co-op program i'll not go into the details of that you can go into the details once you get selected and you can ask the university on how to do that because uh, you will have to spend one term at least in the university of windsor in order to be eligible for the cooperative education so uh, that is something that i will refrain for now for this video and also as i told that initial admission to the masters of computer science is required for both msc or msc with ai stream so it's not like you will have to apply separately to artificial intelligence once you get selected uh, for the msc computer science course at university of windsor you will be having a chance to apply internally through their portal for an msc in ai stream and also the co-op program that is very popular in canada can also be incorporated uh, with this course uh, you can go with a four month or an eight month work program so you will have a chance to work with the state of the art technologies of software development and or artificial intelligence of course in uh, top software companies in canada so for the admission program specific admission requirements the deadline first of all for fall is april 15th it is irrespective of if you are an international student or a canadian student you have time till april 15 so you can go apply toefl score is required for this toefl or ielts score uh, if you are giving toefl ibt you need to have a score of 92 with a minimum of 23 in each band and if you are giving for ielts you will have to have 6.5 with the, an individual band score of greater than 6 and also pearson is also accepted with a score of 65 so we'll talk uh, in detail about this in a while now if you talk about the admission requirements so the admission average for this particular course is 70% so for all the masters program uh, they require a minimum of 70% irrespective of what the master course is it is general for graduate studies at university of windsor and the application deadline as i already told uh that it is april 15th here they say that it varies because it is a general masters page so for you guys for this course it is april 15th the application fees is there a 125 canadian dollars of application fees is required which if we convert into indian rupees corresponds to 7400 as of the current rate and uh, also the method of payment are given you, uh, you can pay this fees using credit cards visa mastercard or mx references are also required for this particular course apart from the three courses that are written here uh, you require references for all of the courses and this course is no exception you will require references of course and it is better that if you can provide it from prof from the professors but if you are a working professional you can also provide the reference of your manager as well and uh, transcripts are also required 
tests are also required so as i told gre so for that uh, you know the applicants whose academic credentials are difficult to assess may be required to write gre i mean this is a very vague sentence to be written here and uh, difficult to assess there are certain scenarios where it uh, becomes very difficult for the admission committee to decide whether to move ahead with this application or not so in that case kind of things are generally ideated as an ideal difference point between two different applications so if you are giving gre then i should rec recommend applying to this university english proficiency as i already told you ibt toefl or pearson these are the three most frequent tests accepted globally but there are some other tests that they accept as well uh, that is milab michigan english and uh, uh, there is a carlton academic english language assessment also known as kail ielts Duolingo, ILAC, ICEAP. I would suggest you to go with the traditional English language course like IELTS or TOEFL because they are widely accepted everywhere in the uh, in the world. And uh, the exemptions. There are of course some exemptions here for the people who are belonging to certain countries. So if your native language is not English, of course, an English language proficiency score is required. and exemption are there are two pointers so if you have completed a university degree at a canadian institution within the past two years or you have studied at a university in in one of the following countries so these are the list of exempt countries so if you are belonging to one of these countries you are exempt from giving the english language proficiency test there is a long list you can check it out i'll halt here for a second so you can take a screenshot maybe So these are the countries. So most of the African countries are covered. Most of the English-speaking countries like UK, Australia, New Zealand, and all these countries are covered. So if you are watching this video from these parts of the world, you can be uh, considered exempt from English language test. And additional documents that support your application, like writing samples, conference papers, so you can provide them as well. Now, if we talk about the course, this particular course is admission requirement. So there are two different fields that they have made in this particular course. So if you are belonging from a specialization of computer science, um, I mean the people who have studied computer science, and they need to have at least a seventy percent in the major subjects, and they are admitted to one year master's program. So for people who are who have studied computer science already, they will be admitted to one year master's program. and for the people who don't have a major, who don't have a specialization in computer science but are closely related to the subjects you will be appearing for two year masters program so you will be studying six terms at the university of windsor and fees is also according to that for this degree you will need to complete five approved courses and a thesis you have to write a thesis and in addition to the above course work you are you are expected to attend regular departmental seminars so seminars are also an inseparable part of this particular course so you will need to go with that as well also they have written that students must maintain an overall average of 70% throughout the studies so if a grade is less than 70 is reached you will be considered a fail in that course and you will have to reappear for that course co-op requirements i'll not go into that but uh, it's something that you can do only after spending one term at the university of windsor and also uh, if we talk about uh, the ai streams so apart from all the courses that i told you about uh, you have to study uh, you have to study some more courses five courses one of the following so uh, the section a you have to complete one of the following courses these three courses statistical learning neural network and deep learning and machine learning and pattern recognition and two of the following in the b section so you can choose uh, the courses from this two from the following courses so these are the courses any graduate level course offered by the school of computer science final year research thesis that you will have to write and additional requirements of course you need to attend regular seminars as i already told you in the computer science department so um, you need to attend departmental seminars in artificial intelligence related topics here if you are going for ai stream and um, of course you need to get a prior approval from your uh, thesis committee for your thesis and that should be more closely related to ai so these were the admission and course specific requirements Now, if we talk about how to apply to this particular course, you have made up your mind to apply. So, what you need to do next is, first of all, you need to complete an initial online application. So, for that, you need to go to this particular link. So, let's just go, and we'll have to return back to this page again. 
So this is the uh, steps that you need to follow first. So you need to create an account on the application website uh, that is Uwin, sir. You will be getting a Uwin ID and password. So once you get that, you will uh, you will just log into that portal, and this is the kind of portal that you will get. And you need to start the application. So all the information that is required will be there, and that that is basic information, personal information that is required, complete name, biographical information, previous attendance. That is, if you have attended University of Windsor previously or not, citizenship. It will ask. Uh, in our case, it would be international, and then address, phone, and email. And then you can select the education history. Then you have to select the program. There will be a menu bar. You will have to select the program. This is MSc in CS. You won't find MSc in CS with AI stream. Uh, that is a different thing. You will apply internally. And uh, then you will have to review and submit. Finally, pay the application fees and submit the application. This is the initial stage. Let's go back to that page where we found it. Application fees and all these things are already done. These up to six steps you have done so far. You will have to activate the UN ID. So you can skip this if you have reached so far. If uh, and then the step three is uploading your documents to EGAS. So EGAS is University's Electronic Graduate Application System where your application would reach. So all of the documents are to be uh, uploaded in a pdf format once all these documents are sent an automatic email will be sent out to the referees so you will have to give the names of your referees and uh, an email will be reaching out to them they will upload a reference letter on your behalf and uh, all once you selected all the documents you need to submit the application and that is done and finally you, what you have to do is to track your application on the egas with your uin id and password that is the only thing that you have to do now if you talk about the tuition fees so tuition fees is per term basis uh, in university of windsor so uh, here it's a calculator i have inputted all the fields to save some time so the program type is graduate master of science in computer science course load is full time not a part time course and fee category is international we don't need residence i'm assuming you don't need the university residence so i just didn't put any of the details in that so the total fees for one term is 9266 Canadian dollars and for the full time people who are studying computer science who have studied computer science previously they will be studying at three terms here so that would be equal to 27800 Canadian dollars and if we convert it into Indian rupees that would be close to 16 16 lakh 48 thousand now for the people who haven't studied computer science previously and are admitted to two year master's program you will have to study six terms so exactly double the amount so in Canadian dollars it would be 55,600 Canadian dollars and if we convert it into Indian rupees that would correspond to 33 lakhs so this is the amount of fees that you have to pay and this is the breakup that they have given the base tuition fees you have the bus pass truck plan housing fees grad health insurance all these kind of things are included in this and these are to be paid that's something you cannot help with you have to pay this all these fees now to assist you with this fees they have a lot of scholarships as well Let's talk about them. So the graduate entrance scholarship. So people are directly considered for the scholarship uh, with your application. You don't need to apply separately for this. So once you apply to the grad school at University of Windsor, you will be considered for the graduate entrance scholarship. And for masters, you will be receiving a one time 7500 Canadian dollar scholarship for a thesis based course. This is not applicable for the project based courses like masters of applied computing and all these things. And uh, you also get the conference travel support fund as well. So you will need to uh, give some proof of that you have uh, traveled to a conference and pro presented your work. So you will be getting that. Uh, amount and also you will also be eligible only or uh, for a maximum of one reimbursement within the first six months of registration so suppose you have this one year course i'm talking about one year course so you, you will only be able to gain this particular reimbursement for once in your whole term similar goes for the two year students as well six terms they are asking and also there are donor sponsor awards that you can look out for and uh, uh, departmental scholarships are also there so for departmental scholarships i'll not go into that i'll just pass this link here so science scholarships are there there are there are a lot of 
them i've explored you can explore too and um, for people there are some provincial scholarships as well i have already talked about this particular scholarship twice in two different courses ontario graduate scholarship and uh, queen elizabeth uh, graduate scholarship in science and technology so i'll not go into that you can watch the video so that was all about this particular course i hope you like this video i hope you like this course you're gonna apply there is still a lot of time for you to collate the documents and uh, then finally apply and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share this video as much as you can with the people who are looking out for data science courses it might be really helpful for them and uh, i'll keep coming up with more data science courses and more generic computer science courses in the near future so stay tuned with the channel until the next video or wow